Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to share some information on how to best save out your logo or image for a social media profile picture using Adobe Photoshop. If you are just creating your Photoshop file, go to File, New. If you click on Web, it will give us some of our settings that we're already going to be using, such as RGB mode. After we set up our format settings here, we can save it as a preset, which will help us save out more quickly next time. If we look at three of the most popular social media platforms, you'll see that for the profile picture sizes, 400 pixels is the largest size. We could make the profile picture at 400 pixels square, but if we want this to appear higher quality on better screens with retina resolution, we're going to want to double the size. So as we create our new document, we're going to go with 800 pixels for the width and height. Uncheck artboards. And we want screen resolution of 72 color mode RGB 8-bit. And under color profile, you can choose the working sRGB or this other sRGB. If you're saving it as a preset, we might as well change this now. Let's go ahead and click this icon to save the preset. Now we can see this preset under our saved. Click create. If you already have your logo in Photoshop and you're just ready to save it, if your layer is already flattened, you can right click on the layer and do export as, or go to file, export, export as, or export save for web. Here I'm going to select PNG for the format. The advantage of PNG versus JPEG is that PNGs are lossless meaning there's no quality loss each time the file is opened and saved again. PNGs also handle details, high contrast images, icons, text, drawings, and graphics much better and will give you a smaller file size. We want our image size to be 800 pixels. For resampling, I'm going to select preserve details. If you have metadata in your file, you can choose to export that. For color space, we want to check convert to sRGB. sRGB mode is most, con most consistently displayed on the web and has a smaller, more optimized color space versus Adobe RGB, which was created to encompass more colors for printing, which uses CMYK. So Adobe color space is about 35% larger. For web, sRGB is going to be what we want to use. If we look over here at the left, you'll see for file size, we're running at 353.7 kilobytes. For Facebook, they compress images that are larger than the 100 kilobyte threshold. So in this case, whether we save it as a JPEG or PNG, we're going to exceed that 100 kilobyte threshold to get the highest quality. Let's go ahead and export this one. Now let's look at a different logo or drawing image. In this case, we only have about three colors. We have white, navy, and a little bit lighter color blue. So when we go to save this one, let's go to File, Export, Save for Web. Looking at the PNG24, our file size is nearly 300 kilobytes. If we change it to PNG8, which reduces the color space and having it on perceptual, we get a file size optimized and less than 100 kilobytes. And we're not really getting a difference in quality or a loss of color by going with PNG8. So here we can avoid that compression by going with the PNG8 for this particular logo, keeping it at the 800 pixel size. 
So now you can start seeing how this saving varies based on what type of logo or image you have. Again, this next logo is high contrast with only a few colors. If we go to File, Export, Save for Web again, we can easily accomplish less than 100 kilobytes by going back to the PNG 24 at this size. In fact, we can even increase it to 1080 pixels and we're still just under 100 kilobytes. And in this Save for Web dialog box, we want to make sure that Convert to S RGB is checked. So you can resize your image to be as large as you wish and still meet that 100 kilobyte threshold. For Facebook covers, I have a couple of examples. This first one has a more monochromatic color palette. So let's go to File, Export, Save for Web, and look at PNG24 versus PNG8. You can see that the Facebook cover width is 940 by 352 pixels. You can see that if we take the 940 width, the file size is less than 100 kilobytes, but it's not necessarily the best quality even though we're using PNG24. So we can double the image size to get a better image quality and Photoshop will actually do some math for you. If we do 940 asterisk, which is shift 8, and then a 2 to multiply the width by 2. After resizing, it looks like we can get away with going ping 8, and it still looks like a great quality. Now looking at a photograph style of image for the cover, Whether we choose PNG or JPEG, we're still going to be over the 100 kilobyte threshold. So let's go ahead and save out as a PNG. One more note about PNG versus JPEG. When you're saving for web for your website, if you have a photographic image, you're going to better optimize the load time by saving as a JPEG at about 70 to 80% of the quality with text or lines or some type of graphic or icon you're going to be better off still going with the PNG which will give you crisper lines and preserve that detail. If this video helped you out please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.